Tony Philiscott, what a victory. Yeah, I mean, credit to the players. They were magnificent, absolutely magnificent. I mean, we knew MK Dons were a very good team, very good footballing team. Uh, but what we've worked on in training all week leading up to it, uh, come to fruition. We, we let them have the ball at the back and then pressed high, we regained possession a lot in their half. Um, could have scored more goals, but then when called upon, I thought Paul Tyson was outstanding in that first half, but apart from the penalty save, obviously made two or three other great saves to keep us ahead. Um, at half time, it could have been something like 6 4, but that fair play to MK Dons, they've got a philosophy. I think they've scored over 80 goals this season and conceded nearly 60, and you could see why. But fair play to them, they kept trying to play. We kept pressing and nicking the ball high up the field, and uh, obviously we've we worked quite a bit on set pieces and scored a few goals this season, and to score three more goals off set pieces was great. But no, I'm, I'm so proud of the lads, so proud to put in a performance like that, and as well with some players who've obviously been told they're getting released, and you start scratching your head, don't you, and thinking... You know, um, after performances like that, there's the right decision being made, but that's another discussion on another day. But I'm just so proud of them all, and the first years who played, and that will be, be better for the experience. And our goal at the start of the year, Gordon, I, I set a target, the lads, was to win that cup. I mean, it's the biggest cup we can win. We're not going to win the FA Youth Cup. So to, to win that trophy out of all the clubs and be national champions, I'm so proud of my staff and obviously me players and uh, uh, it's a fantastic achievement. 4-0, great win, but one of the most important things of the game was the penalty yeah, save. Yeah, I mean, I thought, uh, fair play to Simon Cooper. He, um, we got a lot of information on MK Dons and the lad who took the penalty, we, we, we saw him take four or five penalties prior to that and he put them all the same way. Tice had done his own research on it as well. And we said if he gets one, he's probably going to put it there. And I mean, he was—I think he was there before he took it, wasn't he? So, I mean, that's the benefit of, you know, video analysis and stuff like that. Um, so we had again, we'd worked on that. If I mean, we had a dossier if it went to penalties on which side every one of their players prefers to put it. So we had worked meticulously towards the game in our planning and preparation, and I think it showed on the night. And the goals from Matic were absolutely outstanding. Yeah, I mean, it's the set piece. The goals, you know, I think, I mean, Ben Grant, bless his heart. I mean, I don't want a single player, so Ben's part time. He goes to college and comes in two days a week, and to put a performance in like that, I mean, he's one of the fittest players in the group. Um, to put a performance in like that, I mean, he scored a, a exactly very similar same goal in the national, uh, the northern final, sorry, against Wigan when we won 3 1. If you look at his headed goal, then was the same. He's got that ability to arrive late in the box. Um, obviously, scored a very good composed finish with the second, and then they said icing on the cake is when your set pieces come off, and Devontae's got that. In his, in his locker, a little bit of magic in his boots, great. And the fourth one was just the icing on the cake because that's a, a routine. We've, we've done that free kick four or five times this season. And the keeper's pulled off saves, I was just gone wide. And, and we worked on that on Saturday. And Callum done exactly that on Saturday, scored and run off the pitch here because we trained here on the pitch. And it was, um, it was funny to say that because on the big stage, the same thing and the, and the routines worked and what a way to finish. 800 fans here, including the Atleticos, who never stop singing. Uh, so, so pleased, so proud and we, all the players, like I said, the, a lot of the, the, the staff and the, and the fans were there on, on, at Wigan in the Northern final. <clears throat> so to see them all here again in abundance and give us the support they did. It's fantastic and, and from all the staff and the club and the players we'd like to thank them because we could hear them behind us willing us on and the noise when we scored uh, the goals was fantastic you know so you know I, I, I think I've got to say go on, it's got to be a really proud moment for the club because I mean we won the Lancashire Cup last year and that's just obviously based with the teams in Lancashire I, for the sake of repeating myself to win the national competition out of all the six Youth Alliance Leagues to win the Northern Final against Wigan, which was a feat in itself, but then to go and win the, the whole competition, I, I think that's a fantastic achievement. It's the first time we've done it in the club's history, and this is what we were saying before the, the game to the players, go on, put your name in the record books, so, because that is, don't underestimate the enormity of that, because a lot of our lads are local lads, you know what I'm saying, they've worked hard, some have been released from other clubs, we've got them together, 
Pond have got a great team spirit, as you can probably see there. And um, sometimes it shows you that hard work does sometimes overcome ability. I mean, they're, they're players with a lot of ability, some of their players. But I thought the way we worked hard, stopped them, pressed them, done the ugly side of the game. And then when we won the ball back at times, showed real bits of quality. So um, I'm so proud, so proud tonight. It's going to cost you tonight for a big round of drinks. Yeah, I know, yeah. It was at 20, 20 Cokes. Thanks, Tony. Cheers. Well done. Cheers. Jack to it, Football League Youth Alliance, National Cup winners. How does it feel? Great. D thought we played well. Um, battle to the end, didn't give up. We got what we deserved in the end. The game went 100 miles an hour from the kickoff. Any team could have scored, but luckily it was us. Yeah, both teams had chances, but luckily we took ours, and luckily Tyson was on farm today and saved us. A few and not times. to save was fantastic, wasn't it? Yeah, excellent. We studied the striker early on, on Friday, didn't we? Yeah, in the analysis. And then Tyson pulled off heroics again. And the free kick routine, what a goal. Yeah, we work a lot on them in training. Tony mainly wants us to work hard set pieces and luckily it's come off again tonight. Biggest night of your careers, boys? Definitely. By, by no, far. Even though I didn't play for one of the biggest. And it can only go one bigger, but the FA Cup now, wasn't it? One of them in that. Just shows the trophy to the camera. There it is, Oldham Athletic Football League Youth Alliance National Cup winners. Well done, boys. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.